So Meghan tried to send a message to the royal family this weekend, but it sort of backfired. Whilst the coronation concert was in full swing, Meghan took to hiking in California. And I don't blame her, it's beautiful there. The consensus is that Meghan doesn't get her picture taken by accident, so the timing was particularly important here. Whilst the coronation celebrations were still going on, Meghan looked happy, at peace. She was sending a message that she was just fine, thank you, without all the royal shenanigans, and she was loving her life of freedom over in California. Just like Harry sent them a little message by wearing Dior and not a British brand, the Sussexes have learnt the royal style tricks of communicating everything they need to say with their clothes without saying a single word. But it seems that behind the facade, Meghan's choice of jewellery may be telling a different story. Meghan wore a beautiful crystal and gold pendant necklace made by Abigail Spencer. It's called the Clarity Retreat Necklace and is marketed as just the thing to see you through the greatest of challenges. Indicating that no matter how happy-go-lucky Meghan appears in these photographs, or is trying to appear, there may well be a little internal struggle. The other jewellery she wore also supports this story and suggests that Meghan may be missing royal life and the royal family slightly more than she's making out. Besides the necklace, she's wearing the late Princess Diana's Cartier watch, worth just short of £18,000, but probably worth an awful lot more due to the sentimental and historical value. She's also wearing a Cartier love bracelet that used to belong to Diana. And finally, she's also wearing a Bentley and Skinner diamond tennis bracelet worth over £5,000. What's the significance of this? Well, nothing, except it was a gift from her father-in-law, the king. So whether Meghan knew it or not, over the most important weekend in Charles and the royal family's life to date, she paid tribute to the firm in her own way, despite trying to send the message that all was fine. Personally, I hope these subconscious style choices are a little ray of hope that somehow Harry and Meghan can find a way back to the firm and they can begin their journey to reconciliation. A lot of water has passed under the bridge and time can only tell. And in the meantime, we can only hope.